वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम नरम चरोत्तम सरस्वती व्यासम तथो जया मुदीर तथो नष्टेशु नित्यं भागवत सेवया भागवते उत्तम श्लोके भागवते उत्तम श्लोके भक्ति नम ओं विष्णु पदाय कृष्णा पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी ते नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पश्चात्यदेशणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैता गदाधर श्री अद्वैता गदाधर श्री वशादि गौरभक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्णा हरे हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे राम राम हरे राम राम हरे हरे
Is it visible, Prabhu? It's coming, sir. Thanks. Yes, sir. Is it visible, Prabhu? Ah, Prabhu, it is visible. Okay. Yes, Prabhu. So we are reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 4, chapter uh, chapter 25, the characteristic of the King Puranja, text number 20. Uh, Yadru Chaya Gatam Tatra the Darsha Pramodo Tamam. The Darsha Ekaika Satana Yakai Yadru Chayagatam Tatra Dadarsha Pramadotamam Ayantim Ekaika Shatana Yakai Yadrija Chayagatam Tatra 
दर्श प्रमोद तमाम नायक ट्रांसलेशन एंड परपोर्ट बाय हिज डिवाइन ग्रेस अभय चरणा रविंद्र भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज श्री ल प्रभुपाद श्री ल प्रभुपाद की जय 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 वर्ड फॉर वर्ड मीनिंग्स यद्रु छया ऑल अ फेस हर्डन विदाउट एंगेजमेंट आगतम अराइव्ड तत्र देयर द दर्श हि स प्रमदा वन ओमेन उत्तमम वेरी ब्यूटीफुल भृत्ते सराउंडेड बाय सर्वेंट्स द सभि टेन आयंतिम कमिंग फॉरवर्ड एक एक ईच वन ऑफ देम सत अथाउंड हंड्रेड्स नायक ये द लीडर्स ट्रांसलेट वाइल वांडरिंग हियर एंड देयर इन दैट वंडरफुल गार्डन किंग पुरंजन सडनली came in contact with a very beautiful woman who was walking there without any engagement she had 10 servants with her and each servant had hundreds of wives accompanying him perfect the body has already been compared to a beautiful garden during youth the sex impulse is awakened and the intelligence according to one's imagination is prone to contact the opposite sex in youth a man or woman is in search for opposite sex by intelligence or imagination if not directly the intelligence influences the mind and the mind controls the 10 senses five of these senses gather knowledge and five work directly each sense has many desires to be fulfilled this is the position of the body and the owner of the body puranjana who is within the body text number 21 <coughs> the man was protected on all sides by a five hooded snake she was very beautiful and young and she appeared very anxious to find a suitable husband for what the vital force of a living entity includes the five kinds of air working within the body which are known as prana apana vyana shamana and udana the vital force is compared to a serpent because a serpent can live by simply drinking drinking air the vital force carried by the air is described here described as the pratihara or bodyguard without a, without the vital force one cannot live for a moment indeed all the senses are working under the protection of the vital force the woman who represents intelligence was searching after a husband this indicates that the intelligence cannot act without consciousness 
a beautiful woman is useless unless protected by the proper husband <clears throat> intelligence must there always be very fresh therefore the word aprodham very young is used here material enjoyment means utilizing the intelligence for the sake of rupa rasa gandha sabda and sparsha our form taste smell sound and touch hari krishna hari krishna very beautiful purport i request nandi prabhu hari krishna prabhu uh prabhu um, this shloka already this uh, purport is uh, given nicely by sri prabhu pada so just i am telling a few words uh, adding with this uh, here uh, prabhupada already written that this body uh, is compared with this beautiful uh, god and when uh, the human being are in youth position then their uh, their uh, sex impulse uh, is awakened and consequently uh, their intelligence according to uh, their imagination uh, prone into contact with your sex so all these things are written by sri prabhupada uh, and the main thing here we have to uh means give our concentration that now uh, we discussed in one discussion that our what is our position of our atma with respect to this fine body uh layer by layer so initially the outer side our 10 senses are there out of them five senses are actually used for sensing external stimulation and five organs are used for doing work different type of works and uh whenever we are influenced by uh, the external world or maya then this indriyas Uh, five sensing indriyas will sense the that ex, uh, those external stimulations and then above this indriyas mind is there so mind is the master of this indriyas and this mind controls the indriyas so whenever something in sense then it is sent to mind but mind has no authority to take the decision then what my, my mind will do mind will send this information to intelligence now this intelligence is actually here uh, is compared with this a uh, woman anyway then again intelligence has no power to take the decision so the information will be passed to atma for taking decision and then atma will get this information from intelligence but it will not take the decision then it will say that okay i don't have any power to take the decision so i will ask i in front of me super soul is there so i will ask him and he will give the decision then atma will pass this question means pass this information to super soul 
about taking the decision. But super soul, again we we'll ask this appa soul, what is your decision? What you want to do? For example, <laughs> if so here actually I want to say that this this intelligence is under the guidance of atma. Okay, so just like atma is the husband and intelligence is wife. And this intelligence will uh, take this decision from Atma and it will pass to mind and uh, gradually it will come to the Indriyas. And uh, sensing organs and other tetain Indriyas. And here, suppose if some, suppose mosquito is actually pinning my uh, body. Okay, it's biting. Sit on my body. Then, then and then, uh, the indriya will sense it, and uh, whether the mosquito will be killed or not, this decision, how it is this decision is taken? So, this indriya, this indriya, uh, that is skin, this will send this 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 information to mind. Whether this mosquito will be killed or not, that decision, for that decision, it will ask to the, this uh, mind oh, what to do now. Whether uh, this Karmendri will kill this or it will not kill. Then mind will tell that, okay, I don't have any power to take the decision, so it will pass the information to the intelligence. The intelligence, again, it will think, oh, I, I don't have any power to take this decision. The information will be passed to Atma. Then Atma, uh, in front of Atma, this Paramatma is said. Uh, he, then Atma will tell that I, I will not take that decision. Uh, okay, let me ask Paramatma and I will take the decision from Paramatma. I need to ask Paramatma. This uh, a mosquito is and the Sindhu is telling this, mind is telling this and uh, this intelligence intelligence this uh, one mosquito is there uh, sitting on the hand. So what to do? It will be killed. Will it be killed or just uh, it will be moved, uh, moved away? Then Parvapa will ask this Atma, what is your wish? What is your desire? Then Atma will give this desire. Whether it will, uh, its desire, Atma's desire, is to kill it or not. If Atma tell that, okay, it should be killed, then Paramatma will tell, okay, no problem. I will arrange this by Maya, means by intelligence, by uh, mind, and by Indriyas, I will arrange this. And Paramatma will uh, arrange this work. And it will instruct the Maya to uh, perform this work for killing this mosquito. And then gradually, Atma will tell this intelligence, okay, I have got this permission. Uh, actually, Atma is not getting permission, it is its, its teacher. But it will pass the information to this intelligence that I have got this permission to kill it. And this intelligence will pass the information to a mind that, okay, uh, you can kill it. Then mind will give this permission to the Indriyas that, okay, you can kill it. Then uh, my hand uh, will kill this mosquito. And whenever this mosquito is killed, that means one work is done now. At this moment, based on this nature of work, one pile will be created and it will be kept in the memory location in, 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 in some somewhere. Chitra Gupta's paper. It will be kept there and uh, okay, after death or in my lifetime, some somehow at some time, I will get this the result of this, the fruit of this particular one. So in this way, the whole thing is working. And here, uh, this uh, intelligence is now uh, this uh, woman, which is under. 
atma and other uh, things are also adequately stated here and Prabhupada told what is uh, actually this five headed snake uh, and uh, what are the train, ten, uh, the serpents, ten serpents means ten indriyas. Uh, this much Prabhupada. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna. Thank you Prabhupada, very beautiful. None sir, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, sir. Uh, what I understand from this purport, like it's very clear, uh, clearly like written by Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada. But it's still like you know, uh, if we if we take all this like you know uh, slokas to the context, in the past ones we were studying uh, that <coughs> King Puranjana was compared or is compared uh, with. Like, you know, uh, for if we bring everything to our context, like Atma, and our body is compared as a garden. And then obviously, like now King Puranjana which, uh, found a place which is beautiful, which means soul after like traveling through all the bodies, finally they find human body as very attractive. And that's that's compared with garden. And then while he was wandering in the garden, he found beautiful woman, and woman is uh, woman is compared in the next uh, like uh, sloka uh, to intelligence, and then then the the context is that when a man or a king or anybody like um, like meets a young beautiful woman, then obviously like because of the sex impulse they will they the thinking of or or sense enjoyment comes to the mind of uh, the person. Therefore here, like, you know, um, the woman is compared with intelligence. And then uh, it's also explained that intelligent influences the mind. And the mind controls the senses, which means effectively it's intelligence which controls our senses. And those senses engages in material sense gratification. This is one from this purport. And then in the second second one, like uh, uh, the sloka says that the woman was protected on all sides by a five hooded snake. She was very beautiful and young, and she appeared very anxious to find a suitable husband. And what I understand from here is like, you know, uh, the intelligence is looking for sense gratification. And uh, if it's not protect if 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 it is not properly protected then obviously like you know uh, <laughs> then uncontrollably like let's say today we are engaged in material sense gratification and if it's unchecked if the intelligence remains unchecked which means we will be far from krishna consciousness and then the whole intelligence focus will be on material enjoyment, which is enjoying what is called Rupa, Rasta, Gandha, Sabda, and Asparsa. Therefore, again, it's, it's, it's shown that how it's, it's, it's not shown, but it's, we, can, we can get from this properties how intelligence must be checked how we can like control our intelligence so that we we do not like uh, engage or we are not we do not deeply engage in like uh, material sense gratification otherwise the path of getting out of will become um, difficult and difficult thank you sir thank you sir. that's what i heard from this Hare purpose Krishna. yeah Hare Hare Krishna. Krishna. beautiful Arvinit. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> तो इस परपट से और दोनों श्लोक से सर फर्स्ट श्लोक में <clears throat> बताया जाता है कि जब किंग पुरंजन ट्रेवल करते हैं उस गार्डन में तो सडनली एक कांटेक्ट में आते हैं वेरी ब्यूटीफुल तो यहां पे जैसे किंग पुरंजन इज लाइक अ स्टॉल और हम लोग का जो बॉडी है वो एक गार्डन से कंपेयर किया गया है और उस गार्डन में 
उस गार्डन में एक वेरी जैसा कि बताया गया कि एक बहुत खूबसूरत वुमेन आई थिंक वो माइंड है अपना और इंटेलिजेंस जो कि वो बहुत खूबसूरत है और उसको प्रोटेक्ट करने मतलब उसके साथ बहुत सारे सर्वेंट हैं और इस सर्वेंट उसको ये कर रहे हैं हंड्रेड ऑफ वाइफ हंड्रेड ऑफ वाइफ तो इस परपट से समझ में आता है कि जैसा कि प्रभुपाद ने इसमें बताया है कि इस बॉडी में इस ये एक लाइक like हमारा बॉडी जो है एक गार्डन है और एक जो किंग पुरुजन है वो सॉल है और वो सॉल एक कॉन्टेक्ट में आता है जो कि हमारा इंटेलिजेंस है माइंड है वो वेरी ब्यूटीफुल वुमेन है ठीक है और उससे हम लोग क्या होता है जब किंग पुरंजन यदि हम लोग थोड़ा सा एनोलॉजी यहाँ पे देखे तो किंग पुरंजन वो ब्यूटीफुल वुमेन को देखते हैं तो उनके प्रति अट्रैक्ट होते हैं आ, तो जो हमारा सॉल है हमारे इंटेलिजेंस के प्रति अट्रैक्ट होता है और वो चाहता है कि हम उसको अचीव करें ठीक है जब वो ब्यूटीफुल वुमेन को देखता है जब वो सॉल चेकिंग पुरंजन तो वो भूल जाते हैं कि हम क्या है हम क्या हैं कैसे हैं वो बस अचीव करना चाहते हैं उस ब्यूटीफुल वुमेन को तो हमारा सॉल भूल जाता है हमारी आत्मा भूल जाती है कि हम क्या हैं और हम बस उसी को अपना खुद मान बैठते हैं और जैसा कि अगले श्लोक में है कि द वुमेन वॉज प्रोटेक्टेड ऑन ऑल साइड बाई फाइव वुडेड स्ने और सी वॉज वेरी ब्यूटीफुल एंड यंग एंड सी अपियर टू अपियर वेरी एंगशियस टू फाइंड सुटेबल और अपोजिट भी है वो माइंड भी है जो वो वो भी चाह रहा है ना जैसा कि वो वुमेन भी चाह रही है कि एक हमको एक सुटेबल हस्बैंड मिले तो वो सुटेबल हस्बैंड कंपेयर किया गया है किंग पुरंजन मतलब अपना सॉल होता है और उसको बताया गया है कि वो प्रोटेक्टेड है फाइव हुडेड में मतलब अपना फाइव सेंसेस जो है उससे प्रोटेक्टेड तो वो प्रोटेक्शन इसने प्रभुपाद ने जैसा कि आगे भी बताया भी है कि आ, आ, जैसा कि वो वुमेन है जो एक मतलब ठीक है तो उसको मतलब वो प्रोटेक्शन जो फाइव मतलब उसको मिल रहा है वो एकदम अच्छा होना चाहिए जैसा कि हमारा सेंसेस है तो वो हमारे सेंसेस ही अपने इंटेलिजेंस के माइंड को बताएगा कि क्या करना है और क्या नहीं करना है तो जैसे सेंसेस उसको प्रोटेक्ट कर रहा है उस ब्यूटीफुल वुमेन को जैसे कि यहाँ पे फाइव हंड्रेड स्नेक उस ब्यूटीफुल वुमेन को प्रोटेक्ट कर रहा है यहाँ पे हमारे सेंसेस प्रोटेक्ट कर सकते हैं हमारे इंटेलिजेंस को हमारे सोच को यदि हम अपने सेंसेस पे कंट्रोल रखें हम अपने सेंसेस पे कंट्रोल रखें जैसे हमारा जीवा है जीव है तो खाने पे हम कंट्रोल रखें तो हमारा माइंड उसको समझ जाएगा लेकिन हमको यदि उस पर कंट्रोल ही नहीं है अपने खाने पे तो माइंड तो वो तो आ, आ, मतलब आ, मतलब उसका प्रोटेक्शन हट रहा है तो वो तो खाना चाहेगा अचीव करना चाहेगा ठीक है ऐसे ही सिमिलरली किसी चीज को हम लोग को खाने का पीने का और जैसा कि बहुत सारे सेंसेस हैं तो वो हम लोग जैसा कि वो सेंसेस कमजोर होंगे जैसा कि वो फाइव स्टूडेड स्नैक जो उसको प्रोटेक्ट कर रहे हो कमजोर होंगे तो माइंड उस पर हावी होगा और वो उस चीज को अचीव करना चाहेगा तो जरूरी है कि अपना जो फाइव सेंसेस हो इसको हम लोग अंडर कंट्रोल रखें यही समझे सर हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कुंदन वेरी ब्यूटीफुल अभिनेत कुंदन सर मेरा सर सेकंड पर्पज से सर मेरा क्वेश्चन है द मूमेन हु रिप्रेजेंट इंटेलिजेंस वॉट सर्चिंग आफ्टर है हसबैंड सर ये लाइन सर मेरे को सर समझ नहीं आया सर ओके मैं बताऊँ और कुछ सर यही और सर इसके बारे में सर मीन्स मटेरियल इन्वायरमेंट में सर हमारा जो इंटेलिजेंस है वो मतलब बेसिकली रूपर ऐसा और गंधा शब्द और स्पर्श जो पिछला वर्ष हम लोग का सर ये स्टर्डे वाला था उसके बारे में और ए, मतलब इसको मतलब मटेरियल वर्ल्ड से अगर रखे तो ए, उसको सर फॉर्म टेस्ट स्मेल साउंड एंड टच मतलब यहाँ पे नेम दिया गया है सर इस पर्पट में सर मुझे सर समझ आया था ये बोलो ओके हरे कृष्ण अंकित हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण प्रभु 
मैं बार भक्ति चंद्र स्वामी का एक लेक्चर सुन रहा था तो उन्होंने उसमें बताया था कि एक एक ये नेचुरल है कि एक मैन एक वुमेन के प्रति आकर्षित हो सेक्स सिंपल्स के कारण लेकिन कभी एक छोटा बच्चा एक छोटी लड़की के प्रति कभी आकर्षित नहीं होता ये वो साथ में खेलते हैं और साथ में खेलते हैं गाते हैं कुछ भी करते हैं लेकिन कभी आकर्षित नहीं होते लेकिन जब वो अपने योग में पहुंचते हैं तो ये स्वाभाविक है कि वो आकर्षित हो तो उसी तरह से उसी तरह से जैसे कि वो योग में पहुंचते जैसे वो मेच्योरिटी जरूरी है लड़के के एक लड़की के प्रति आकर्षित होना उसी तरह से हमें भगवान के प्रति भी आकर्षित होने के लिए एक मेच्योरिटी की जरूरत होती है जो गुरु गुरु प्रदान करते हैं और प्रभु मुझे ये भी समझ में आया कि कि भगवत गीता में जैसे बताया गया है कि थ्री वेज टू हेल्थ ऐसे थ्री पार्ट टू हेल्थ जो ऐसे तीन रास्ते जो हमें नरक के ओर ले जाते हैं उसमें से एक ये भी है प्रभु सेक्स सिंपल्स यानी कि वासना तो मुझे ये समझ में प्रभु हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण Thank you. Very beautiful explanations by everybody. <coughs> And already proud. Sir, ah, uh, Vinay, tell me. My question is that uh, what is the meaning of exact meaning of Krishna conscious? Okay, okay. Many times I told. I'll tell also today. Okay. Okay. Actually, Prabhupad gave very beautiful purport. If Prabhupada's purport would not be there, we could not understand. It is very difficult to understand these analogies, right? Very beautiful purport. And uh, actually, as we are reading from the beginning, Puranjana is compared to the soul. and soul is wandering right like puranjan wandered many places but he did not find a place suitable place finally he found a suitable place in the southern side of the himalaya that is bharat varsha and that is compared to the human body okay he found the suitable that means the soul found the suitable body that is the human body okay <laughs> <laughs> when he entered inside that uh, land land of bharat varsha <laughs> then he found many beautiful places and finally he entered into the capital city and the capital city is compared to the our heart right? so it was very nice question in previous verses that the heart is the most sophisticated and everything is there in our heart so the heart is compared as the capital city where everything every decision is being made everything is executed everything is done and the soul also when it enters it comes to the heart for residing in it yeah? like puranjan entered into the capital city and then he found in the capital city many gardens many streams many fountains many beautiful buildings like so those are compared like different desires different uh, then inside the heart he met a beautiful woman so that is capital city inside that capital city puranjan like a soul when he is inside our heart he meet the intelligence right when he meets the intelligence that intelligence is compared to the beautiful woman so prabhupada very nicely told why it is compared to a beautiful woman who looks very fresh because unless our intelligence is fresh we cannot enjoy materials we cannot like we see a madman cannot enjoy right like a person who is a drunkard ignorant he cannot enjoy properly 
his life even material enjoyment right whatever he eats he doesn't know what he is eating he cannot enjoy so therefore in our intelligence should be very clean and it should be very fresh in order to enjoy therefore people always try to <coughs> travel to a place where beautiful environment must be there right like the hill stations and uh, riverside ocean why they went because there they make their intelligence fresh so that they can enjoy more and more material right and they can enjoy actually what they are doing when our intelligence remains fresh and beautiful then we can enjoy so therefore the intelligence here is compared as a beautiful woman and that beautiful woman when she is coming she is protected by five hooded sense a five hooded snake right and that five hooded snake is compared to the five airs flowing in our body the five airs are prana prana vayu we call na prana apana vyana samana and udana and these five airs are very important in order to function our body right <laughs> unless our body is fit healthy we cannot enjoy our intelligence will not be ever fresh so therefore here it is told that our intelligence is protected by these five airs okay that is flowing inside our body <clears throat> and then he is also guarded by she is guarded by 10 servants those 10 servants are like our senses 10 senses five working senses and five uh, knowledge acquiring senses gyanendriyas and karmendriyas and again it is said each 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 servant is having hundreds of wives that is compared to desires and different types of enjoyment like we do through our senses right <laughs> generally on the material platform the husband is compared to like he is compared to purusha who is the enjoyer and the wife is compared to prakruti on the material platform she is to be enjoyed so that is what here the senses are compared like the servant they are the husbands and the desires they are enjoying they are like the wives there are hundreds and hundreds of desires we have our senses do hundreds and hundreds of desires <laughs> and the intelligence is the main focus because <clears throat> it controls everything it controls mind and mind controls all the senses right so therefore the intelligence is compared like a beautiful fresh woman and as if she is searching for a husband right and who could be the suitable husband because husband is the protector of the wife right he protects always the wife <clears throat> so they are proposed by mentioning here our consciousness is uh, is the, is uh, is acting like the husband of the intelligence right because unless the consciousness is there in the body there is no meaning of intelligence right because intelligence is just an element of our subtle body right so so therefore consciousness protects that omen that intelligence which is compared here as that beautiful omen right <laughs> so therefore when our consciousness becomes entangled with our intelligence at that time we call baddha jiva baddha jiva means conditioned soul we become entangled with our intelligence when our consciousness is free from this false ego intelligence mind that is called the real liberation 
and that is our original consciousness and and under that condition we achieve the original consciousness and that is krishna consciousness okay <coughs> when we achieve the real position of ours our own constitutional position when we achieve our own swarup when own swarup that is called uh, our constitutional position and that is real krishna consciousness okay <laughs> unless that we are in fact always entangled in our intelligence mind like intelligence is a beautiful woman therefore it is compared like a beautiful woman where the puranjana is going to be entangled now in the next verses right so that is how our consciousness becomes always entangled with our intelligence we are never free from our mind intelligence and falsity huh? <laughs> whoever becomes free from these three things then he becomes obviously liberated and he achieves brahma bhuta stage and he is in real uh, krishna consciousness right so that is what is explained here proper explained very nicely and kundan asked one question kundan what was your question Kundani, you are mute. Kundan? Hare Krishna, Kundan. I think Kundan asked something. The intelligence... Uh, something like that. Why it is compared to beauty? Yeah. Something like that. Okay, already I answered. question and abhinath's question was what is uh, krishna conscious ah uh, then is telling something hari krishna kunda yes hari krishna sir the question is sir uh, the woman who represent intelligence was searching after her husband ah uh, that is what i told right i told that yeah yes intelligence cannot be protected unless a husband husband should be there to protect the wife right a woman therefore in yeah. our vedic literature it is mentioned that a woman should always be protected <coughs> because yeah. they are, really they need protection all the time because in the childhood they are under the protection of the father and when they grown up they get married they are under protection of husband and when they are old they are under protection of their own son right? son or son in love with her but they need always protection a woman should not be independent there is prophet always mentioned in the western country also he explained these things very nicely like where the women they want always liberation they want always independence right but proper very strictly told them that when a woman becomes independence independent that means she becomes polluted she is never protected right so therefore a woman should always be protected at any condition of time from childhood to this to her like life end of the end of her life Right. Similarly, here this woman is uh, searching for a husband because she needs protection. Right. So that husband is our conch. Okay, Kundan. Yes. Sir. Now the question of Abhinath was, what is Krishna consciousness? I think many times we have quoted this word Krishna consciousness, and also I. explained in the indirectly not very directly <coughs> krishna consciousness means that is now also i told what is our original consciousness that is our 
Shoru, that is your constitutional position. That is called Krishna consciousness. Okay. So therefore, this Krishna consciousness, you see, just one example I'll give. Example is <coughs> like being the part of my body when my hand will be disconnected when it is suppose disconnected from the, my body then my hand will never be satisfied it it, it, it becomes in fact uh, not functional right it will not be satisfied ever but when the same hand is connected to my body and serving my whole body it means it is achieving its original constitutional position because now it is connected to my body and it is serving my body, feeding my body, whatever I want, I am doing with my hand. So that means it is achieving its constitutional position, right? So that is how, like we are soul. Soul is the part and parcel of Krishna. So Krishna also mentions in Bhagavad Gita and many scriptures in fact gives this instance. Krishna tells that in 15th chapter, Mamai Vansha Jeeva Loke Jeeva Bhuta Sanatana. He tells to Arjuna that these jivas, whoever we are seeing in this material platform, they are all my part and parcel. So being part and parcel, our constitutional position is to serve the whole. And Krishna is the whole, right? So unless we serve Krishna, in any form, we cannot get satisfaction and we cannot even achieve our constitutional position. Therefore, serving Krishna is, therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu mentions, Jivera Swarup hoi Krishna Ranitya Das. Jeev ka jo Swarup hai, that is to become Krishna's servant. That is Swarup, Krishna. Jeev ka Swarup hai. Hamara Swarup hai hai. To become servant of Krishna. And that is Krishna consciousness. When we serve Krishna, gradually we understand our position. What is your position? What is who am I? What is my relationship with Krishna? Then, because every living entity has a relationship with Krishna. Like I told the example, the hand has a particular relation with the body, with the whole body, right? Similarly, every living entity has a particular relation with Krishna. And that relationship we need to revive. And that re how we'll revive that relationship? By practicing devotional service. When you engage ourselves in the service of Krishna in any way, in chanting, hearing, in rendering some service, giving, offering flower, offering fruit to Krishna, and rendering service to, to his devotees, it, so in that way, we'll achieve our, gradually we'll elevate our position and gradually we'll revive our, that relationship with Krishna. Like part and, because we are the part and parcel of Krishna, we must know what is your relationship with Krishna. Because every living entity has a particular relationship with Krishna. So when we'll achieve that relationship, that is our original constitution. And Krishna conscious means when a person becomes completely Krishna conscious, he achieves that relationship, achieves that position. That is Krishna consciousness and his consciousness always remains to serve Krishna. Any form, like in the form of serving the living entities, in the form of serving anywhere he goes, he serves. And that motive is to please Krishna. That is Krishna consciousness. Right? Because everything belongs to Krishna and everything in fact should be used in the service of Krishna. That is what in the last class, last uh, yesterday also we are discussing, right? Like if somebody, a, a Krishna conscious person will see a rose flower, what he will think? He will think, how I'll please this, how I'll offer this rose flower to Krishna and my Lord will become pleased and 
in the same time this rose tree will become uh, become very fortunate become very blessed and he will get the mercy of krishna because we are going to offer the flower sprouted on that tree to krishna obviously he is going to get the fruit of that he is going to get the opportunity to elevate herself to next body maybe she is going to get the human body in the next life right so that is how we can elevate others also in krishna consciousness if a person is krishna conscious he is always being engaged in serving all the living entities and helping them to become krishna conscious like nandi prabhu wrote a beautiful poem no? you have seen those poems those poems were towards like he wrote when he why he was chanting everywhere he is traveling because he is chanting because so that the trees the birds the the insects they will listen the hari krishna mahamantra and by listening this they will get the <clears throat> agyanta sikriti unknowingly they will get the mercy and they will elevate their position elevate from god's body to a human body from animal's body to a human body from plant body to a human body so that is called agyanta sikriti na so therefore a krishna conscious person wherever he is he tries to help all the living entities and also by that way he elevates himself and he elevates others this is krishna consciousness okay avinit i uh, it is clear yes sir very clear sir okay hari krishna hari krishna thank you sir thank you nandipro nandipro any other comment you can give nan sir you can also give your comment please hari krishna prabhu hari krishna Prabhu, uh, in Chaitanya Charitamrita also, whatever you have said now, uh, the same thing is explained here uh, about our Krishna consciousness. Uh, the same thing, uh, but you finally uh, elaborated here. Uh, it is written, Jiver Sarupahai Krishner Nityadas, Krishner Tatasta Sakti Bhedavid Prakash, मार्जिनल so tatos that tato tato means actually uh, bank of river so in one side water is there in other side is the land we are at the margin so we can live either in water or in this land but if we live in water that is not my proper position so i will suffer it is not my Uh, the proper place of living but due to some maya if we wish to live in water we can jump in the waters but we can live in the this uh, this land also which is the golok vrindavan and uh, since we are under control of maya so sometimes we when <coughs> if we wish due to my uh, due to our desire we can uh, live uh, we can just jump the water and we face so many problems there but here actually krishna consciousness if we are krishna conscious means if we feel that we uh, the parts and parcels of lord sri krishna and nitya das so my uh, my duty to uh sad lots lots of krishna and um uh, for, for doing everything uh for the satisfaction of lots of krishna and then actually i am feeling that 
uh, I, I just I am I, I have understood my the uh, my uh, constitutional position, and if somehow I fall down from this constitutional position in my thinking, then automatically I will be that means I am jumping uh, jumping to the water. Uh, so Krishna consciousness is this what I have told. So since we are Tatusta Sukti at every moment, at, at every moment uh, our mind, our uh, intelligence uh, uh, will be purified in such a way that every at every moment we can think that we, uh, we are the uh, eternal servant of Lord Sri Krishna and my work or our work is to serve Lord Sri Krishna and everything, every work, every work, uh, should be in favor of Lord Sri Krishna. Once I have wrote, I have read one. Uh, I have listened uh, one uh, lecture from Sri uh, Bhakti Purushottam Maharaj. He was telling that uh, our Guru Maharaj Sri Lajapataka Swami. Uh, uh, he in his diary every day he was writing like this. Uh, so uh, when he was writing about his uh, every work. Uh, so when he was sleeping, before that he was writing says, from this, from uh, 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock to uh, 3 o'clock, this is for sleeping for Lord Sri Krishna. Then from 1 o'clock to <laughs> one fifteen, taking prasadam for Lord Sri Krishna. Then Sometimes he is doing something. He, in in front of us, it may be thought that this is material, but he was writing that this is done. Every work, every work is done for Lord Sri Krishna. How? Means he is sleeping. So why he is sleeping? He is sleeping temporarily to take rest for doing the works for Lord Sri Krishna in the next day with higher energy so so in this way he thinks every moment that he is doing something for lord Sri krishna not for his own uh, sense gratification so uh, if we think uh, ourselves that my constitutional position is uh, i am the I am the eternal servant of lord Sri krishna and i have to do every work for lord Sri krishna at every moment so whatever I am doing, then this work will be free from this bad means, uh, karma bandhan. And uh, I will be situated in Krishna consciousness. So this is uh, uh, what you have explained that is written here in Chaitanya Charita Mito elaborately. It's fine said. Yes. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Uh, None, sir. Please, if you have anything. Yes, sir. I was just listening to you, sir. I'm just seeing sir, that the association of benefit daily milta hai, every day. We can see it or not, it's a different thing. So, I also feel a lot of benefit hai. और जब आप लोगों को सुनता हूं तो काफी लर्निंग मिलता है सर और होपफुली धीरे-धीरे मेरा भी कॉन्शियसनेस थोड़ा सा क्लीन होता जाएगा एवरीबॉडी इज इन फैक्ट गिविंग एसोसिएशन वी आर आल्सो गेटिंग योर एसोसिएशन एंड ऑल अभिनेत कुंदन एवरीबॉडी इज पार्टिसिपेटिंग अंकित सो वेरी ब्यूटीफुल दिस प्लेटफार्म टू आपका सर एक कोई था जो कोई भतीजा या कोई था ना क्या नाम है उनका आदित्य क्या है अब जी, जी वो उनको बोलिए कभी कभी आएंगे कैन जॉइन विद अस उसको मैं 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 बोला सर आ, वो खुद चाह रहा था बट प्रॉब्लम है सर कि हम लोग शुरू करते हैं यहां 6 बजे से वहां उसका 4 बजे सुबह होता है अच्छा ओके ओके एंड दैट इज नॉर्मली में यही प्रॉब्लम है टाइमिंग का प्रॉब्लम है अदरवाइज वो खुद चाह रहा था कि वो आए हां हां ओके तो 4 बजे थोड़ा सा दिक्कत हो जाता है उसको वो भी यूके में या कहां पे 
जर्मनी में सर बर्लिन में अभिनेत अंकित कुंदन एनीथिंग एल्स यू वांट टू स्पीक प्रभु व्हाट इज साधना भक्ति व्हाट इज साधना भक्ति दैट इज डिवोशन दैट इज डिवोशनल सर्विस वी नीड टू प्रैक्टिस दैट इज साधना भक्ति गिवन बाय आवर आचार्यज आवर प्रेडिसेसर आचार्यज इन डिसिप्लिक सक्सेशन वी हैव टू फॉलो इन दैट गुड स्टेप to practice like every day morning we should get up and uh, chant our rounds we have to, if we have deity we have to offer mangala arti we have to uh, offer flower everything then we have to uh, offer prasadam then we have to chant our rounds regularly 16 rounds that is prescribed by our guru maharaj then we have to follow right reading shrimad bhagavatam bhagavad gita and also the same thing we do in the evening generally grihasthas they unable to do many things so but evening and morning we should do like grihastha devotees and for devotees who are staying in the temple they have lot of service and they do lot of service they are 24 hour engaged in krishna service so this is sadhana bhakti as prescribed by our acharyas we have to follow this sadhana bhakti so by following this practicing practicing like prabhupad gives example like krishna conscious is originally imbibed in us but we have forgotten it like a child like a child when he, he knows working but he needs little practice and help support right so like we are also like that we we are imbibed originally krishna consciousness but we forget so when we we take the help from the people those are krishna conscious they will help us in working and gradually when we practice we will learn we learn working we learn devotional service we learn like we will become also krishna conscious this is how prabhupada explains right? this is called de- practicing right practicing devotional service ओके अंकित हरे कृष्णा अंकित यस प्रभु थैंक यू प्रभु थैंक यू सो मच प्रभु अभिनेत एनीथिंग वी हैज टेलिंग समथिंग मैं ये बोल रहा था सर कि श्रीमद् भागवतम में जो अभी हम लोग पढ़े थे चैंटिंग द सॉन्ग संग बाय लॉर्ड शिवा वो कितना डायरेक्ट था और समझ में आ जाता था किंग पुरंजन वाला जो नारद मुनि एक्सप्लेन कर रहे हैं ऐसा है ना लॉजिक देके एक्सप्लेन करते हैं यदि उसका परपट नहीं जाता तो कुछ तो एकदम सर से ऊपर निकल जाता है ये तो सारा कुछ यस वो कभी कभी इनडायरेक्टली बताते हैं ना सब कुछ डिवोटी लोग दे गिव बिकॉज़ वो किंग को डायरेक्टली नहीं बता सकते हैं अभी तो और भी है आगे आगे वो बोलेंगे तो डायरेक्टली बता नहीं सकते हैं किंग को किंग 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 का पोजीशन भी है तो इसलिए उसको इनडायरेक्टली जैसे प्रभुपद एग्जांपल देते हैं कभी अपने बहू जब बहू नया नया आती है घर पे तो उसको कैसे सिखाएंगे हम लोग सास कैसे सिखाते पहले तो अपने बेटी को डांटती है लेकिन वो इनडायरेक्टली टीचिंग जाता है बहू को बहू समझ जाती है फिर वो करने लगती है तो वो इनडायरेक्ट टीचिंग होता है है ना तो ठीक है दो तीन बजे में सोता हूँ इस वजह से कभी कभी सर लेट उठता हूँ तुम इतना लेट क्यों सोते जल्दी सो जाओ जल्दी उठ के काम करो अगर कोई काम है तुम्हारा अगर प्रोजेक्ट वर्क कुछ है यू कैन गेट अली मैं तो तीन बजे उठ जाता हूँ कभी कभी हाँ तीन बजे उठ के मैं कभी चैंटिंग कर लिया फिर पढ़ाई करता हूँ कभी जो क्लास के लिए तो तुम लोग भी ऐसे ही कर सकते हो कैन स्लीप एयरली बिकॉज स्टूडेंट लाइफ में क्या प्रॉब्लम है नौ बजे सो जाओ फिर तीन बजे उठ जाओ फिर चैंटिंग करो पढ़ाई करो कितना फ्रेश माइंड रहेगा सुबह एयरली मॉर्निंग में बताओ और तुम लोग रात भर पढ़ाई करोगे तो उसमें दिमाग में घुसेगा नहीं कुछ क्या तुम क्या क्रिएटिविटी करोगे बताओ कुछ क्रिएटिविटी नहीं कर पाओगे क्रिएटिविटी विल कम ओनली वेल 
like you see nandi prabhu is writing so beautiful poems uh, this is creativity <laughs> this creativity will But come that... when we follow actually this will wake up wake up in the morning early morning and that time everything is fresh and we use at that time we we can use our energy to the full extent right इसलिए जल्दी सो जाओ नौ बजे खा के सो जाओ और दो बजे तीन बजे उठो चार बजे उठो कोई प्रॉब्लम चार बजे उठ के तुम अपना काम करो जो प्रोजेक्ट का काम है जो भी है ठीक है चार बजे कर सकते हो एंड दैट विल गिव वेरी गुड रिजल्ट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड वेरी क्लियरली एंड वेरी परफेक्टली ओके इन 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 ब्रेन सेल्स इन इन नाइट एक्चुअली एट नाइट आवर ब्रेन सेल्स आर फैटिक so this brain is working for the whole day so at night time after 9 yes. o'clock your brain cells will be fatty yes. so whatever information you want to put there that will not be that will be in the ram it will not be in the rom <laughs> so sir <laughs> 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 computer science ke hain so rise in the early in the morning then you uh, your uh, my memory will be fresh and whatever you will put there uh, you will you can remember for a long day for a long time yes kundan you practice this early morning early to bed early to rise this is a proverb already yes. there we should follow it uh, early to yes. bed early so, to rise no need to eh, hum logon ko late ho sakta hai hum log grahasth hai bacche hai kabhi kabhi mere ko kabhi kabhi 11 baj jata hai sote sote इतना टायर्ड हो जाता हूँ तो आप लोगों के पास कुछ नहीं है ना गृहस्थी है ना बच्चे हैं ना कुछ है कुछ नहीं है खाली है इसीलिए सर वो लोग लेट इसीलिए दोस्त पीपल हैज मेनी वर्क हु हैज एक्चुअली नो वर्क कल